Hello guys, my name is Adinda and in this video, I will show you how to edit video using InShot. Okay, first you open the InShot application and then you click new and you choose the clip that you want to edit. All of them. And after that, I change the canvas. This is the ratio of your video. You can choose any ratio for your video. And after that, I will change the speed. Become faster. Up to 1.50. And this one too. And also this one. And in this clip, I will reduce the speed become slower. Because in this clip, I will explain to you how to use the VSCO application. And it's quite long. And for the next clip, I will increase the speed, become 1.50 also. And this one too. And then this one. This one too, and this one. After that, the next step is I will put text in my video. This is the watermark for my video because I want to protect my video so it can't be copyrighted by any other people. And I will lower the capacity and I put in the bottom of my video and then I will choose the text until the video end like this next step is I make the opening of my video This is the opening because in this video, I will review the VSCO application. And I put text to my opening video. Review by Adinda Famila. I will put in the bottom of the VSCO logo and after that I will choose an animation for the text and it looks like this and I will choose until the end of the clip like this one and I will put an intro to my opening I choose the music that already in in shot and I will cut the intro become 5 seconds because the opening is only for 5 seconds and it become like this after that I will choose a transition for the opening and it goes like this and in this clip I will put my voice on how I explain the use of the fiasco how I edit the picture I will explain in this clip And after you finish, record your voice. It goes like this. After you save the picture, you import the picture to the VSCO application. And then, after that, start editing from the exposure first. After I record my voice, 
I will continue for the last step in my video. I put the before after picture before I use the VSQL application and after I use the VSQL application. And for the last step, I will put the closing to my video by insert the picture. And this one, I will also put my name by insert the text. I put in the bottom also. Then I will choose an animation. And it looks like this. And after that, I will put the text by the end of the clip. And I also put the transition before the before after picture. And then I will put the intro for my closing. And it looks like this. We're done and for the result of my video I will not put the video in this video but I will put the link on my description box so you can watch by yourself how I review the VSCO application don't forget to watch and I would like to tell you what I have learned in content development and ecosystem subject there are five content component. The first one is audio. Audio is like music, podcast, song, or tone. And video, it's like documentary, news, learning video, presentation video, or anything like that. And picture, for the example, cartoons, photography picture, a chart, a diagram. And for animation, there are like Upin Ipin, Nusa Narara, Tom and Jerry, and etc. And then for text, there are newspaper, journal, article, and blog. And I also learned how to protect my video by using watermark. This is so efficient to protect your video so your video cannot be plagiarism by any other people. And I want to say thank you to our lecturer of content development and ecosystem because she talked very clearly and easily understood by all students. And with the assignments that already given, I could learn a lot of new things such as editing videos and making advertisement with animation. Thank you again for our lecturer of content development and ecosystem. Mm -hmm.